Welcome back to the channel again guys Today I'm going to show you a little customization that I did on my NR200P A small LCD screen for hardware monitoring purpose This customization is not only limited to the NR200P You actually can do this with any other casing that you have uh, with your PC In fact, you can also do it externally as uh, some people prefer instead of inside their PC so before you purchase the LCD screen, which I will put in the link down below, you need to determine the size of your casing and uh, the position that you're going to put the screen on. For my case, the NR200P, 5-inch LCD screen fits perfectly on top of the PSU cover. So do check and measure accordingly to your own case on which size is going to work for you. Also keep in mind that different casing may require different cable management routing. For example, in the NR200P, it requires me to route both the HDMI and the micro USB cable to the left of the screen in order to hide all the cables. And because the gap is so small, I need to use a 90 degree or L-shaped cables. A regular HDMI cable will not fit here due to the small gap between the PSU cover and the front panel. So do take note. In addition to that, I also need to remove the third PCIe cover in order to route both the cables to the rear I.O. for display and USB power. Now that the easy part is done, let me show you how to get your custom screen going. The software that I'm using for my status monitoring in this video will be IDA64. In order to download the software, just head to IDA64.com. Go to the Products tab, click on Download Latest Version under IDA64 Extreme, and then again, click on the first download link which is download.ida64.com and it will start downloading automatically. Once you're done, just install the IDA64 and you're good to go. I've already had mine installed so let's jump straight into IDA. Click on File, Preferences and then under Hardware Monitoring, you see Sensor Panel. The Hardware Monitoring interface that you see on the new LCD screen is the Sensor Panel. Set the resolution you want your sensor panel to be. In my case, the 5-inch screen that I'm using has a resolution of 800 by 480. So that is the number I keyed in. Remember to check the resolution of the screen that you have before keying in this number. After that, just click Show Sensor Panel and the panel will show up on your desktop. If this is your first time using IDA, the sensor panel will show up as a blank panel. I already have mine customized to its current look. I won't be going into details on how to customize each details one by one or else this video will go on forever. A good place to start is to look for a ready-made template and modify it from there. There's an official IDA64 forum that many users have uploaded and shared their sensor panel. Feel free to browse through and download whichever closest to your taste and liking. Once you're done, go to your sensor panel manager and hit import. Select the sensor panel file that you've just downloaded and it will show up right away. Do note that however, the panel that you've downloaded may or may not fit to the resolution of your custom screen. So you will need to reposition some of the elements yourself. From the sensor panel manager, you can see tons of options available for you to display on the screen, ranging from CPU temperature, usage, vCore, GPU options, and so on. Almost everything related to hardware monitoring is available here. A quick note here, if you want to have FPS monitoring, you will need to have MSI Afterburner with RTSS installed as the numbers are pulled directly from RTSS. Now that you've done customizing your sensor panel, go to your Windows display settings and arrange the display to the position of your preference. I set the screen to the lower right of my monitor as my PC is exactly on the right side. Once you're done, simply drag the sensor panel to the lower right into the custom screen and it should fill up the screen if you have set the resolution correctly. Now, to get rid of the taskbar on the screen, go to taskbar settings. Simply turn off show taskbar on all displays and you're good. The last thing you want to do is to make sure IDA64 start with Windows every time you turn on your PC. Once this is checked, the sensor panel will appear in your new custom screen every time you turn on or restart your PC. There is also another free option in order to customize your hardware monitoring, which is called Rain Meter. Rain Meter is originally intended as a desktop customization option, but many people have started using it as a hardware monitoring customization tool. You can also check out the Rain Meter subreddit where many users have shared their custom designs. Irregardless of which software you use, both are highly customizable 
and sky is the limit depending on your own creativity so use your own creativity and design however you feel like in order to blend with your own team that's all from me in this video today don't forget to subscribe and hit the like button if you enjoy the video thumbs down is okay too i'll see you guys again in the next video bye